autumn i'm coming for you i'm coming for you oh i didn't expect this to look so nice on come on and then you release hello there beautiful people welcome to my channel i hope why am i doing that patricia does too much but welcome to my channel i hope you are doing well autumn is in the air it is season for the brown darling the brown the nails are brown i've got my lippy on people and i'm really excited because i feel like this is the time of year where you're meant to look your most suave layer snatcheroo no crotcherooing no nipples to the wind because it's too cold for that. You're gonna get a chest infection. It's autumn time. I have decided to do a little bit of shopping. Well, a, a lot of bit of shopping. I feel like, like, I feel like it's been a really long time since you go hit up ASOS. And I decided to go onto ASOS, see what I could find and actually put actual wearable outfits together. Because I think that's something I've been missing. And when I'm in my room, I'm like, I hate everything. How can you shop as much as I do and still hate everything? I'm just confused. So I went on to ASOS and tried to buy actual outfits for autumn. So we're gonna try them on, see if I was successful in it. And I've got like one, two, three, four, and two boxes. So this video is gonna be real, real long. And I also had a sneaky little experience excursion in, why am I speaking like this? And I also had a sneaky little experience in Topshop as well. So we're gonna see how we go on styling, whiling for autumn. I'm very excited. I feel like I need a refresh. Like, like she says every other week. This video is gonna be long. So sit down, get comfortable, get a pen and paper out. If you wanna do a little bit of shopping, your girl's got you. I think we're gonna get into Patricia's autumn styling with ASOS. Okay guys, we are good to go. I've got on my little, I'm not even gonna call it underwear because I'm not gonna be up here in a thong. I have got so many bags of stuff. I've actually tried to put it out into outfits so you can actually see how this would really look in real life, you know, an autumn sleigh or name. This set, I saw this, I was like, yes, this is a little bit of me. So this little two piece, it was giving matching queen. I was very excited, funnel neck jumper and matching skirt. By the way, this is about to be knit overload. Like, look at the knit skirt! Oh, it kind of makes me look a bit thick. It's giving me like fake hips because there's like pockets here. Wait, hold on, why do I look like just a head? I look, on camera, I look like a floating head. But in life, I look particularly warm and cozy. This is my favorite kind of jumper. It's like the funnel neck jumper with the like chunky sleeves. I am warm, I am living, I am fantastic. Autumn, I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you. Sometimes I do feel like I look a bit weird when I wear like polo necks because I do have a bit of a pea head. You know what, pea heads unite. Let's be proud with our little heads. Look at it, come on. And the thing about this is you can wear this jumper with jeans as well as the matching skirt. So I've literally just bought the um, Adidas Falcons and I feel like it would look really good together. I hope you guys can see just with these chunky trainers. These are the new Falcons. I just bought them in the all white. Put a little leather jacket on top. Autumn. I'm ready for you. If you do not have a funnel neck sweat and like a matching knit set for this season, I don't know what to tell you. This is my feeling myself stance. Speaking of funnel neck jumpers, clearly I love them. Oh, hello beige. These are my Topshop Motto jeans. If there's any jean that you've got to buy, it's a high, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Just call me infomercial Patricia today. Because this is, this is who I want to be, except me. If there's a pair of jeans that you need to get, it is a high waist straight leg. From wherever you can find them, but these are my favorite. I've got waist 26 and it, I haven't had to like amend it. Like it's snatching my bum, but the waist isn't too baggy. It's a squeeze to get on here, but up here it fits really well. Ah, oh, come on. Right, let me show you the actual funnel neck jumper. Oh, I don't like this one as much. Yeah, I don't like this one as much. It's not bad. No, oh, actually, actually, when you do the slight nip and tuck, 
we've got it. But why are the arms short? I don't love this one as much as the fit of the other one, but I don't hate it. I hate the arms. Do I need a bigger size? Is my neck disappearing? I can't tell. Like this, we're looking a bit mumsy. I'm not sure on this one. I want you guys to let me know. It's the arms. It's the arms. This. But you know what? The colour's nice. I love this kind of colour. You guys might notice that I have converted, not to a trumpet, but to a straight leg jean. It's not a trumpet. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But straight legs, we're here for it. We're having it. We'll accept it. Guys, I really hope you're not about to get sick of, of knitwear because I realise I have a lot of knitwear. Oh, oh yes. Okay. This is going to... Wow. Is this corporate bitch or is this like, what's it, like a worm? Do I look like a black worm or do I look like a corporate sleigh? I don't know. We've got a little pup, a little puppage. Um, I feel like it shows everything, like control underwear is a requirement here. Obviously what you don't want to do is wear a white bra because I'm seeing that on camera. Do you know what, if you are after a, just a black polo neck long dress, yeah, this is what you're going to get. I think... This needs a jacket over it. And there we go. There you have it. You get yourself a little simple number and then you put yourself a little jacket on top. This is a recent purchase of mine. A little pricey number from All Saints. With short arms, I know. Yeah, typical, right? And do you know what I would wear? Black boots. Camouflage. Yes, camouflage. Camouflage life. Do you know what? I like the dress with a shoe. And now I'm gonna be your favorite catalog model. Oh my God, I actually feel like I'm in a catalog. Yes, get yourself a polo neck dress. You could even go like short. Short would even be better. Wait, hold on, can we finesse this? Okay, no, probably not, probably not. <laughs> Cause it looks crazy. I actually love this, it's really comfortable. I'm going to Paris. I feel like, I feel very Parisian in this. All black, very sophisticated, very Parisian, simple, elegant woman. That accent's so bad, I'm really sorry. Ooh, I actually bought this Cardi. It's pink and it was long and, I and it's got balloon sleeves. Mm, yeah, no. This is definitely going into knitted grandma territory. Although the, the knit thing goes really well on its own. Sleeves, we've got long sleeves, your girls wrists which i feel like i like angle ankles being exposed they're covered i don't like these together oh my god i feel like supply teacher when they want to hide in their clothing this is supply teacher we're too cool for this patricia no i think after this we're going to do some sequin but my last piece of knit let's try it on no this is giving me university circa 2012 let me take off the boots because I think it's the boots that are throwing me off. It's not a bad outfit. It's not a bad item of clothing or anything like that. I just feel like this just isn't my style. It's really bubble gum. I would rather stick to my jet black Parisian worm-esque dress versus this. Like it's oxymoron, sweater, off shoulder, short, all in one dress. No. Now it's time for some sparkle. So I've got a few parties that I'm going to this month or in the next few weeks. And I want it to be extra glam and 70s is in. I don't know why I picked this up. I'm looking at this right now and I'm like, what was I thinking? Mm -mm. I already have a bad idea about these. Hmm. This number is, yeah. Ariola to the wind. At least I can hold this bit here for dear life. But yeah, it is singing and from the left to the right. This is giving me ABBA. This is giving me disco diva. Like look at the sleeves. Wow. Wow. The sleeves are strong. Disco diva. Night fever. My mum would love this. <laughs> you look so beautiful. It reminds me of when I was young. The, this bit's too wide. I need a smaller size. If we just stay really still, we can make this work. This is from Lavish Alice. They're a brand that are really cool. I'm gonna try this on and see if this is a bit more wearable. Oh my God, I can be Diana Ross. My baby love. Let me wear this gold one. 
Oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't expect this to look so nice on. To zip that all the way up. It's a little bit wide, a little bit low, but nothing that a little bit of booby tape can help. The gold is a really nice gold. I didn't think this gold would look as nice. I would definitely tape up here a little bit. For the party that I'm going to, this is a nice little number. I'm such a fan. Oh, with a little heel. Oh, we've got a, we've got heels. These heels can go with gold or silver. That's why I really like them. Yes, come through. More shine. I think this is quite a similar dress, but this is also in the silver and short. So I'll just pick one or the other. Maybe you guys can decide in the comments. It's literally the exact same style of dress, but short and in a different color. Do I like the short silver more or the gold long more? Let's just put the shoes on. Oh, I like the short. I like the short silver. Yeah, short silver. Yes! <laughs> wow. Sorry, I'm actually feeling myself right now. You know what? You gotta feel yourself sometimes. And if you've got to shout wow at yourself, you do that. You do that. I think I'm gonna go for the short silver. I will moisturize my knees, don't worry. If you do pick up any of these dresses from Lavish Alice, they're always a size too big. I actually pick up a size six and I'm basically a UK size 10 in Topshop. So yeah, their sizing's a bit off. I feel like I should have been born in the 70s. I like 70s disco music. I'm like, I don't, but I like Lionel Richie. I wasn't actually gonna show you lot this dress. I also picked this up, Lavish Alice. And I didn't think it was gonna look nice. I was just like, I can't even be bothered. But, hello Midnight Blue. Just call it Midnight PB. Look at the way the color is reflecting. I might wear this to the party instead. Would I wear the sequins or would I wear this one? I don't know. But I love the way this is doing asymmetrical. I love the way it's doing Velvet Queen. Where you didn't expect the dress to look as good as you thought it was gonna look. Titties are shaking. Shake the titties. I am impressed with this dress. Necklines like this as well suit me. I'm learning so much. I should know this ish right now, but I don't. This neckline suits me better than the V neckline. This is what I tell you guys all the time. If you don't have cleavage, you have clavicle. Clavicle, <laughs> lavish Alice I Azos, you killed it. You killed it. I'm actually dying because I love a velvet dress. We love it. The jacket that I've been desperately wanting for this season, two jackets I've loved. Look at this teddy. Look at this teddy. It's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. It's not heavy. It's not bad though, it's not bad. And then there is this dog tooth, or is it hound's tooth? There's an off-white um, hound's tooth blazer that looks really, really stunning. I was like, I don't want to buy off-white. It's definitely not the same, but it looks the same. I'm hoping that this is going to be my ultimate, like, little black polo neck for the whole season. But why is it giving me crop life? Is it cropped? It's cropped. Oh, wow, there's a lot of camera right now. Sorry. It's cropped, but not that cropped. But the Lord Jesus, it's a far. Look at this. Look how short these arms are. I think it's actually meant to be more like a three quarter sleeve versus a long, I don't think this was ever meant to be long. This and jeans, this is a nice top. Jeans, yes. So I struggled to get them on just a little bit. You gotta do the hula hoop. <laughs> the crotch thrust. And then they're on. And then once that's all done, you're fine. Let's just put this on with a little belt. This top's really nice, really nice. Just a little basic, I like the way it fits. And actually it's like a polo, but I still have neck. Oh, with a little trainer, guys. It's a look, it's actually a look. This is Patricia on a Thursday. This is Thursday, Patricia. Do you know what? I don't even mind the shortness of the jean. Now with the piece de la resistance. I basically buy one, like, I want to call it an FU jacket, like big, come on now. One big jacket every year. And I think this is it. Is it warm enough? Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's swag. The one game I don't play is being cold. I don't like to be cold. I don't do this. You know, when I was younger and I'd go out like 
clubbing. And I'd see girls with like literally a pamphlet outfit on. This is string and paper. With their high heels tottering around. Their skin is turning blue. It's cold. Meanwhile, I had a puffer jacket and tights. I would go to the club, take off my tights take off my jacket, stuff the tights into the pocket of the jacket and pay the one pound for the cloakroom. It's never that deep to catch hypothermia. Stay warm, stay hydrated. Patricia ran, just because. And you see, you can wear a little, tiny little, barely there dress. And then you have your big, you know, pimping jacket on top and then you release. I really like the brown color, no? No? The brown is cute, we love it. Hey, come on. Pimpin'. Pimpin'. Pimp, 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 pimp. Pim. So I don't, sorry, stop. Patricia, chill. I love these trainers. They're super comfortable and they're super light and they're chunky trainers that actually look good on me. Hello. Let's get this. The dog tooth color is a weird color. It's not white, it's like gray white. Not sure if I like these with um, jeans. I've got some trousers. Oh, they're nice quality. Oh, these are actually from Mango though. But these were on ASOS. I wanted some, um, what are they called? Thai waist or something like that. I wanted trousers like this. These are the only ones I could find. I can tell they're gonna be cute. I can tell. Oh, they're actually called paper bag trousers. That's what I was looking for. I don't like it with a blazer. I think it looks too corporate. The trousers fit bang. These are actually from Mango. Me and Mango need to have a moment because really, they're very elegant. It's giving me waist in and hip out. This is all fakery. Come on, angles. But that's why I love ASOS because you can find everyone on ASOS. So good. My bum wants to peek, hello. Not too much, just wants to peek, just wants to say, hey, I exist. Listen. I mean, I kind of like it with the blazer, but I just think it's looking a little corporate. But I mean, if you're after a work look, this isn't a bad shout. Like, if you want to be more interesting than just wearing the all black, which is me all the time, put a little houndstooth blazer on it. I actually really like the jacket now. I bought a few more hoodies, because they're quite affordable if you buy like the ASOS own brand. Oh, this is Pimkey collection, okay. I just bought a few hoodies because it's cold and I like to layer. This is a big, a big hood. Why can you see everything underneath? So if I wasn't wearing this top, let me see what this looks like without the top underneath. I'm telling you, the hoodies keep selling out. I don't mind that it's large. I feel like hoodies and like smart trousers actually look quite good together with a jacket on top. You see? I don't know if this hoodie's just too big. It's giving me too much chest exposure, but I love a hoodie and a leather jacket like on top. Like it's actually a vibe, it's actually a look. Yeah, do you know what? I would still rock this. I feel very New Yorker in this. This is giving me New Yorker. And I think this hoodie is too big. And it's also quite thin, so it's giving me a bit cheap. It's giving me a bit cheap, it's not amazing. Oh, I got this pink one, oh hello. Me and sweatshirts like this have a love-hate re relationship. They kind of remind me of like, wearing school uniform because i wore a sweatshirt for school uniform but i don't hate them in autumn because it's just cold let me take off the trousers because that's really how we make it school and let me put on some jeans oh okay okay sweatshirt works with the jeans please ignore this big old belt i just didn't have another belt with me but yeah with the jeans it works really well and i've got these um adidas trainers that i've had for a while that go really well with it. No, are we liking this? Leather jacket on top. You, know, do you see this? You see it? This is a very casual outfit. I feel like you guys never see me in my casual outfit. Yeah, Patricia Monday to Friday. Now guys, don't stone me for this one, but I picked up dungarees, not dungarees, but kind of like dungarees and like outfits that have, um, not suspenders, what do you call this? I can't remember what you call that. But I don't know, I felt saw them and I was like, oh, I like these. So we don't know how it's gonna look, but I think it could be a look. This top I picked up to wear inside. Meanwhile, these buttons are looking orthopedic. Why are they so big? I don't know how a button can look orthopedic, but something about the size of them is so grotesquely large, they look like they're a medical device. And then this, it looked really good on the model. And I felt like I could wear this. I'm able to like channel my inner th farmer life. Oh, we like it. We don't like it with 
This top, the top on the inside doesn't work, but I do like it. But I'm gonna put the black polo neck back on. Do we like? I like. Is it in my head that this is nice? Teddy jacket on top. Mm, not with the teddy jacket, but with a jacket. Comfort people, comfort. I want clothing that I can wear outside that makes me feel like I'm inside. That is it. My inner farm girl, my inner little house on the prairie, and I'm here for it. You see, you can beat your pop in this. Come on. I feel the best in this, and there's definitely a difference between the clothing you show on Instagram versus the clothing you actually wear all the time. But this is me. This is a little bit of me. I just need a farm. And then I bought one more similar piece. This is a pinstripe. It's a pinstripe kind of wide leg trouser. Come on, don't be rude. This is banging. Just a white shirt on the inside. It's a flare, it's even a flare. It's, it's a flare and we've got a pocket. I'm gonna wear a different top so you can see the contrast of color. Now I wouldn't wear this top again. It's got the orthopedic buttons. But I wanted you guys to get an idea of the contrast. I don't know, something about this is giving me Oliver Twist, but in the most flyest way. Consider yourself fly. Consider yourself part of the family. If I wear like a really amazing like satin silky shirt or something dramatic, I could actually wear this to a fashion show. Oh my gosh, I need short hair. I need to be androgynous. <laughs> Do you ever find an outfit that makes you say, I really like this outfit, but I need to be a completely different person to wear this? And then I bought one last, last dress because I'm planning on having a little like autumn break getaway. Oh, hello. My winter sundress. It's winter, but I'm getting some sun. So I cover up a little bit more with a big like sun hat, some sandals. I'm gonna enjoy the sun somewhere tropical. Okay guys, that is it from me. These are all my little autumn picks from ASOS and maybe some other bits that are already on my rail. I wanted to try and put looks that you could put entirely together and I was really, really careful when I was shopping. It literally took me about three hours. If I don't need it, if it's not gonna be a mix and I can wear together, I'm not having it. Let me know what you guys think of that because I wanted to put outfits that you could actually wear together. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have all my links down in the description bar below. I will catch you later, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.